Behind me is a group of foreign trained medical graduates who decided to express their dismay over alleged discrimination from the Health Professional Council of Namibia. This group of future foreign medical students feel that the treatment they are getting is just uncalled for after spending so many years abroad. About 70 of the graduates out of over 200 who failed both the medical and dental pre-internship evaluation examination took part in the demonstration. In a petition handed over, the group claimed the examination they wrote last year included domains that were communicated late by the council. This, they say, it led to only two passes out of 207 medical and none out of the 30 dental. We, we are here now today to seek a relief or to seek an alternative remedy or an approach to the problem that we currently have so that we do not get subjected to an unfair or unjust exams uh, in the future. We are not here to, to, to complain that we don't want to write. We want to write, but we want a fair and moderated exam. The group further questioned why their UNAM counterparts do not go through the same evaluation process. In a statement issued, the Health Professional Council of Namibia says it is by law that the public is protected against incompetent medical and dental practitioners, hence the evaluation of foreign graduates. Students that qualified for the supplementary slated for later this month still have a chance to enroll for practical training if they fail. If you happen to undergo this practical training and you still did not make it through the, the, the exam, then it will indicate that you are still not competent enough for them to prepare you to write this exam. So they are not going to give you any chance from that chance or after completing remedial program. Then what happens to a degree? Then you are in the street. Then you're in the street. Acting Deputy Executive Director in the office of the Prime Minister, Saima Shanika, accepted the petition on behalf of the Prime Minister. The same matter resumes in court tomorrow after four students challenge the examination in the High Court. Salomotenga, NBC News, Vinduk.